Hey guys, I've had this idea in my head for so long and I spent so many hours trying to perfect it by practicing on my other eye and figuring out the best way to execute it. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments. I'm starting off by blending Sugar Pill's Moki eyeshadow right above the crease using a Sigma E35 brush. I ended up also adding a tint of green shadow from the Morphe 35C palette as well. Next, I'm using a Makeup Addiction blending brush to apply Suva Beauty's Blue Lagoon eyeshadow from their Cupcakes and Monsters palette into the crease. I also applied this shadow to my lower lash line using this new brush I just got from the Elena Badro brush line. Using my Makeup Addiction Precision Shader Brush, I'm applying Sugar Pills Poison Plum eyeshadow into my crease and along my lower lash line. I'm blending that purple out with a Luxie 121 brush. I'm also carrying the purple shadow downwards onto the top of my lid. With a Sugar Pill Liner Brush, I'm using foundation to carve out where I'm going to be putting the tail. I also mixed in a little bit of purple so that I could see the outline on my skin. Then I cleaned out the area with foundation using a Sugar Pill Lip Brush. Going back in with the Liner Brush, I'm using some face paint from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette to outline the fin for the tail. Then I'm coloring the area in with some light green face paint and quickly setting that with loose powder. Using Blue Lagoon and Poison Plum, I'm shading the lines for the fluke, which is actually the name for the end of a mermaid tail. This super precise brush is a Sigma E17 and it's really helpful in detail work like this. Now I'm using Maybelline's Ultra Liner to outline the fin and begin defining the scales. The applicator for this liner is a short brush so it's ideal for precision. I'm just being really careful outlining the scales because it took me a few tries to get them to look the way that I wanted them to. Using a Sigma E10 brush, I'm dabbing a tiny bit of Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Mermaid Lime pigment onto each individual scale. You can definitely leave it at this, and I probably would have if I were going to wear this look out to like a party or something, but for the sake of making the scales look awesome for this video and the photographs, I decided to add some glitter. I'm dabbing Violet Voss's glitter glue onto the scale and then putting on some of their Siren Fantasy glitter. I think it's funny how the pigment that I used is called Mermaid Lime and then the glitter is called Siren Fantasy. It like really fits with the theme of the look. After adding the glitter, I'm touching up the liner a little bit and then moving on to the highlight areas. I'm applying Danessa Murek's Daydreaming Pigment over a cream base on my inner corner, and then I'm using Sugar Pill's Ice Queen eyeshadow on my brow bone. To finish up the look, I'm adding some of Anastasia's Black Gel Liner on my lower lash line, mascara, and lashes. So here is the final look. I am so, so proud of how it came out, and as usual, I would love to see any recreations that you do, so please tag me on social media. You can find my handles in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I love you.